Hi there everyone back with an another video in this video we will be quickly learning a simple concept in JavaScript that is what we call it as branching statements so again guys what you mean by branching statements so I'll just explain you quickly in just three words so first the first word is check and then divide and then execute so again guys what you mean by check divide execute so far we have learned all the concept without branching statement so we have done with a normal flow of execution with line number one two and three and it goes till the end of the file right so that is what we call it as a normal execution flow where we execute we start executing from the line number one and it goes on till the end of the program but if we have some branching statements we will skip some of the lines and execute some of the lines apart from those skipped lines of code. So I'll just have uh, quickly explain you guys with all the types of branching statements we have. First is if condition or else we call it as if statement. And then the, the, the next branching statement is if else. And again guys these are the simplest things which is also a self explanatory. And I'll just quickly explain, explain you all of this. In, in a, a quick example of here so again the third is if else if so these are the three branching statements we, we have in JavaScript so I'll just quickly explain you with the first one which is an if condition so as you can notice here guys it is not a function it is not anything it is just like a, an, a statement in JavaScript so it is what we call it as an if statement so we'll write an if keyword so this is a keyword and so and then in the brackets we will be writing over here I will just say uh, over here we can have a boolean values also we can have expressions also we can have some numeric or number uh, values I'll just say numeric values over here in in the inside of the bracket right so we can have a boolean true or we can also have a boolean false and I'll just begin with the boolean true over here I'll just say true and now guys uh, if we write a true over here then the, this body the, the if statement will be executing right so no matter what thing you use here no matter what you use boolean expression or numeric I'm sorry it's a numeric values the if it is true then if condition will be executing so I'll just say in the if condition I'll just say in the console I'll just say uh, hi over here so now let me check the output of this it's printing hi right the reason is because in the if statement we call it as an if condition if the condition is true we will be executing the body of the if statement so if the condition is false then we are not executing the body of if and then we got nothing over here right so this is it guys so we can also have some some of the expression like if one is greater than 90 of course it's not then we are not executing anything over here so we, we haven't got high so if I just change the condition and make it as true if one is less than 90 and execute the body of if and we got the high over here right so similarly we can also have it a complex expressions like let I'll just say let a is equal to 90 and the let uh, B is equal to uh, let me say 9 and uh, I'll just end up with uh, a semicolon here and we can also use uh, you know A is less than B and of course it is nothing but what it's a uh, B I mean uh, is A is greater than yeah 90 is greater than 9 and we got the thing and also we can also use and symbol over here with the logical and like let me say and and true so now again guys what is the thing it's true because we are using a logical and which means both of the operand upper ends should be true and we have the true over here and this expression results in true so true and true is true and we are executing the body of the if statement right so we can have a complex expression here which consists of boolean and expression and also numerical values right so if I just uh, do this something like this I'll just say one so again guys what is the output of this statements it is again high because we need we are passing one again it is a true so we are executing the body of if statement so now if I just say 
zero then it won't print anything because zero is false and we are not executing anything any of the body of the if statement yes guys this is all of the scenarios i have i have explained you in if statement so i have done with you the numerical values in the if statement and the boolean in the if statement and the expression in the if and also i have combined boolean and the expression and the numerical values in the if statement right so this is these are all the scenarios which we use in the if statement so now i'll just explain you the next branching statement is it's if else so now if we are not executing this then of course we'll be executing with the help of else block i'll just say in the console i'll just say else i'll say by right so if the body of the the if statement is not executed then we'll be executing the body of the else statement in other words if the if condition is false then we are executing the body of else statement that's it guys so if i just check the output it's printing by because the if condition is false then we are executing the else part right so if condition is true we are not executing the the else part but the if part right so if the if condition is true we will be executing the if block right so yes guys this is all about the thing in if and else and let's dive deep into the next part which is if and uh, else and if so similarly we can check again an if condition we can also have an uh, another if condition over here like true i'll just say again i can give any one of those forms like boolean expression and numerical values in here in this uh, if statement right so now now what happens is it will check for the first if condition if it is true then it will only execute the if body the first if body if the if the condition is false over in the if uh, first if then it will come to the next if else and again it will check the condition so now again if this condition is true then it will be going to execute the else if part so now if this condition is false then we can also have an else part at the last let me say i will just console over here and then i'll just say last by so now guys let me check the output it should be high right so if this condition is true we'll be only executing this part and now if the condition is false then we'll be executing the else if part because in this condition in this if condition the result uh, of this is true so we are just executing this part not this and this so now again if we have a false over here then we'll be executing at the last the else part so if we refresh the browser and we got the last by right yes guys this is so simple things which you need to understand and the, the important thing you need to understand here is in the if condition we can write a boolean expression and the numerical values right so you can also have i can pass zero here and we get the same thing right so if i just pass one here we'll be getting a by not last by so this yes guys this is all about the branching statements and all the forms of branching statement in javascript and this is going to work in the rest of the program programming languages as well so make sure that you understand this and practice it and make sure that the the thing which you give is important in the if condition that's it guys and see you in the next video